Yes, family, we are live on Revolutionary Camp, family, and it is November 24th, and we are leaving. Arusha. We left Arusha, I should say, and uh, we're here at the Kilimanjaro Airport. And um, it has been a beautiful three days. Um, I know it's kind of short, but um, we're exploring different parts of, of Tanzania. So we're on our way to, from Kilimanjaro Airport to Dar es Salaam Airport or Julius Nairi uh, International Airport. And uh, get ourselves set up for our two nights in Dar es Salaam. Then we have three nights in uh, Zanzibar Island. So it's uh, been an epic journey and we're gonna continue. And we're gonna get the bags offloaded and get things uh, ready to go. Family, we're gonna show you a whole lot of footage. Uh, we're gonna get connected to a good internet source to upload uh, some of the videos of what we have, but um, most of them won't be uploaded until we get back to my office in Georgia, south of Atlanta. Alright, so everybody get yourself a cart and load your stuff on there. So we getting off here. Remember, you won't leave anything in this car. Uh, things you leave here, uh, it's not easy to get it back. Yes. It may take some days. So you carry on, pick everything you want to take with you. And remember what we discussed earlier, the liquids that can go into the check-in luggage. We do it as we get there before we go through the scanner. Um, once we are in there, after the luggage has been checked in, we'll hang around to wait for the announcement that now is our flight to Dar es Salaam. We'll fly to Dar es Salaam, we'll get to Dar es Salaam, get the bus like this. Then we'll use the back bench, the last seat, to, uh, I mean the seat, to put our luggage. Because in Dar es Salaam, they don't put luggage on roof. Since it's a big city, somebody can jump up and take uh, advantage during the traffic light or heavy jam so we don't wow. take that risk. <laughs> okay. Wow, wow, that's interesting. Uh, big city, we don't trust them. In Arusha, like home. There you go, family. All right, family, uh, let's uh, get to our carts and uh, start organizing our stuff. And listen, man, get yourself organized and get yourself a cart. You know your bags ready, right? Oh. Let me show you the highlights of our operation. Thank you. Sir. It's going to be interesting to see how all them bags fit in the back. The same, it's, uh, it's the same bus, right? It's a coaster, right? Yeah, we we'll put some in the in the middle. It won't be a long drive. And family, and it's uh, also a beautiful day. It's it's nice and nice and tropical hot. It's actually a perfect day for beach weather. And Eugenia, give me a minute. I'm gonna move some stuff around so I can make space for your, your stuff. Okay, all right, thanks. I just think this over with. Yes, family, and we are 14 strong. Yeah? And, whoo! I'm talking about some movements, family. From the U.S. to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro to Arusha, then Arusha back to Kilimanjaro and Kilimanjaro, and now to Dar es Salaam. For the journey of a lifetime, I have all of this stuff organized. Yes, it is a lot of coordination and everything, and you know, we do our best to the highest level to make sure that everything runs top notch. And the best thing for us to do is honestly to show you everything that we do because sometimes it's you know it's unbelievable but yes I believe in planning to a T and organizing to a T 
and being very efficient in what we're doing. Yeah. So family, uh, we'll give you some footage on the inside uh, once we get inside and get things organized. I'm looking forward to this, connecting with some of our folks that we have uh, waiting for us in Arusha. Uh, people that have repatriated or are, you know, are just there in uh, Tanzania uh, to just kind of get a feel of the country before they move. So we're going to connect you with some of those interviews and some of those, uh, uh, you know, some of our you know, brothers and sisters from the diaspora. And then just uh, share what we can share as we begin to build this as a foundation energy for the journey of a lifetime to come. And uh, we're looking to organize November 2021 once we return back to the office uh, at the end of the month, uh, early December.